welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. Here is East End Poodle Maisie, West End Poodle Priscilla. And today I'm bringing you a new company, an indie company that I discovered via 4F Beauty. Um, the company is called, I'll tell you what it's called. No. It is called. I guess I said it wrong. Charlie Betty Beauty. And I got the eyeshadow palette, which is the Earth palette. I'm hoping that the um, lady does all of the um, element signs with the colours to match. I'm looking forward to that if that happens. And I bought two mini lipsticks and some other bits I'll show you. So yeah, um, so I saw this on a few of beauty, and she said like you know she tried it out and it looked amazing, and the lady's like vegan, um, not tested on animals, which is like which you know which should be correct as well, and um, minimal packaging or recyclable and stuff like that. So I thought well. This sounds like something I'd like and it comes in like a little case thing and I thought I love the colours and I haven't used it today although I've used green on my eyes but it's not from that particular case, it's from another case that I own, I'm from he should not talk, be talked about. So um, yeah, so I am going to show you this, she sent me a little note saying thank you so much for your support, hope you love your items, a little thank you. And I paid for this on when did I get this? Monday and I got it today. So it's very quick. We've got some worms. And we've got a little is that a sticker? I thought it was a sticker. Now there's the details if you're interested. It's called Charlie Betty. So I got um this which is a oil balancing solid serum from OK brand and this is the uh, this is comes like a little carton like a, like a milk carton type thing and it's um like it says a solid primer to go on your face so doesn't smell of anything so that's a serum primer. I think that's what he said, isn't it? A serum primer. Solid serum. So that's a good thing to sort of take away with you because it's not going to leak out anywhere. So there's that. I don't know how much that was because a couple of things were in the um, sale. Well, it doesn't say how much they are. So there was that I got. I got this, which is a lip. lip balm in watermelon and it really does smell and taste of watermelon it smells lovely so I got that and this is from the coconut coconut lane people so there's that we'll get into the good bits in a minute then I got these these were on special offer so I'm going to use one of these tonight so I'll let you know how we get on with these these are the avocado sheet mask. So I should be wearing one of them tonight after I take all my makeup off. So that. Then these are the two um no, she only does these two mini coloured lipsticks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try them on for you. So you can see what they look like. So I'm gonna take this green one off. like I've got a moustache. Never mind about that. There you go. Let's just um, put this on. That's it. So we've got first, the first colour we've got is the um, lighter of the two, which is called Betty. Yeah, Betty. I 
I thought I'd try these because um, sometimes I, I, I tried this um, one that I got off of um, Birchbox, but for life of me, I don't know where it's gone, and I absolutely love that. Such a standard component, you know. So let's just put this on and see what this looks like. Is that? It's not a very good application. I do apologise, but you get the gist of it. I think there's some black left on from my previous lipstick, but you can see it's, it's a nice colour. Feels nice on the lips. So what I'll do is I'll put the other colour on, and then we'll see how long it takes to dry down when I'm talking about the um, palette. Right, there's that. I think it's from... I think that was from that. Right, so I'm about to square one. And this colour is called... Is it Penny? I think it says Penny. So let's have a look. Again, it's a standard thing. Right, now this is a darker colour, so that's why I wanted to use this the one last. This kind of wine colour. This would benefit from a, a lip liner. I'm just going to do another dip. It's a nice colour, isn't it? it? It goes really nice with the pole. Well, it goes nice with the eye look as well. So that really does feel nice on the lips. So let's just see how long it takes to actually dry down. So that's that. And last of all, is the thing that you come here to see is, I'm going to get my wipes ready, is this lovely, lovely palette. It's got the symbol, no, I'm getting mucky already, of the earth sign. And open it up and it says, Charlie Betty Beauty, Press Pigment and Glitter Palette. Pal uh, and it says, it says all the ingredients there. And I know it says it on the back as well, which some people like. I always keep them in their boxes, but it's on the back there and it's like this. It's a bit like um, the He You Should Not Be Named um, palettes um, with a trunk, kind of like um, blood sugar and blue blood in that sense. Um, so let's open her up and see. I have had a look and this is what she looks like inside. A nice thick piece of card, not thin, but and these are the colours. How beautiful are they? Doesn't really have a smell. We've got things like Capricorn, Virgo, and um, we've got Taurus, which is what my um, birth sign is, because some Earth is my um, element sign. And I know that's the same as Angie, because she's Taurian as well. So there you go. So let's get swatching. Well, what, what I might do is I'll do the mats, I'll do the shimmers first on this bit here, and then you can see, and then we'll do the mats after that. Oh no, actually, we might as well just do them all together, mightn't we? I've been, you can see, I've actually swatched it because it comes this morning, 
and I was like a bit excited about it. All right, so where's my, um, there you go, because I don't want to keep wiping my fingers because I don't want to keep on pinging it. Right, so top row first. Top row is Capricorn, what is it? Virgo and what's the next one? Foundation. So that's the first three. That's a beautiful colour, that Capricorn colour. And the one in the middle is Virgo, which I'll just do again because it's like a very light shade. Well, we can see it now. You can see it's like a skin colour type thing. Ne oh, God! I'm dropping it. In excitement, I dropped it. Oh, God. Like, nothing's gone on on it now. Gosh, no. Right, so the next one is... The next three is called... What does that say? Bedrock Cedar... And Gaia. Gaia is the name for Mother Earth, isn't it? I have a Gaia statue over there on my altar. So this this one is Bedrock. Bedrock. Cedar. It's beautiful green. Look at that. And Gaia, which is the Mother Earth. The nice green as well. And that's just like one dip, so. So that's the first row. Let's just clean my hands, because they are dirty. Right, white pen. The next one is Jasper. Grain. And Grounded. Them. So first of all is Jasper, it's a beautiful red, Grain, it's like a mustardy brown that one, and Grounded, which is quite a dark sort of, they're not very powdery, they're really lovely, I feel really, so there you go, there's that. And then the next one is tourmaline. They're like the stones. I have some tourmaline. Tourmaline, ivy and patchouli. And um, Angie said that patchouli is one of her husband's favourite smell. So there we go. We've got tourmaline. There. Then we've got ivy. Which looks like to be a beauty. Oh, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. And patchouli. Yeah, and I'll link the um, video in the comments. So, you, um, in the comments, in the description, so you can see. Um, and she's. Um, look. Then we've got Taurus, which is my star sign. Fool's gold. And satin. So we've got Taurus. That's a really nice cool tone brown. Um, what did I just say? <laughs> satin, which is a yellow colour. Oh, no, sorry, that's fool's gold. Sorry about that. It's me getting it around. And I was just thinking, that's the, and that's satin. Which is a really nice. Yellow. I'm just going to put a yellow again because it's like um, quite a light colour. So there you go. It builds up quite nicely. And then last three is Venus. Which you see quite often. Honeysuckle. And Peridot. So we've got... Where have we gone? Venus... Is it honeysuckle? Is that, did, I, did I pick up honeysuckle? I 
think I did. I don't know. Where'd it go? Honeysuckle is there. I think it's just a thingy, like a copper shade. And Peridot, which is there. So they are the palette. So what I'll do is I'll do the shimmers on my hands so you can actually see them. So we've got the shimmers are Capricorn. So they're like this is like a dual chrome type colour. It's like a, a pinky greeny colour. Then you've got bedrock. These are so sparkly as well. And then you've got ivy. Oh, ivy is very soft. There's different formulas for sure. This is very much a metallic um, shade. Fool's gold is also metallic. It's very soft. Oh wow, that is some gold. And then we've got honeysuckle, which seems to be a topper as well. Which you couldn't see before. Oh, you can see now. So that's the shimmers there. Can you see? So that is Capricorn, Bedrock, Ivy, Fool's Gold and Honeysuckle. Can you see? It's beautiful. And the rest. So you've got four mattes. Oh, sorry, four shimmers. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 mattes and 4 shimmers. 15, 9, 12, 16. Is that right? 12 mattes. And for, so there you go. That's all of the beautiful, beautiful palette. Well pleased I bought this. And also, it's on the easy pays, you know, so you can pay for it over um, four. I've lost me little things that goes with it. Um, for payments so it's um the, it's the palette's 28 pounds so you pay for over four payments so you don't really you know it's, it is it is it's a fairly reasonable palette when it's because it's an indie brand as well and all those colors and the quality of the shadows i mean look how beautiful they are i mean the shimmers look, i've dropped it again i ain't broke it if i keep dropping it Sorry, bum. You get scared when I drop things. Bit over there. So I just think they're so beautiful and like they're so creamy. The mats, you know, they're just one swipe, and they're like there. And these are. I'm just so excited to use it. So hopefully I'll be able to use it next week and do a look with it. I'm hoping to, because like it depends on what's going on with Auntie Maureen, really. So. A bit sticky, but not much. It doesn't transfer, does it? So look, and just a little bit there. It's not much, really. But yeah, that feels all right. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'll leave like the um, details with the lady down and down in the comments. Comments down in the description, and if you're interested, go along and. Um, you know, it's a beautiful palette. I'm just hoping she does all of the elements because I'd like to get the whole collection and then be brilliant if she'd done all of them. Because you can imagine fire being like reds and oranges and and then water would be blues. But I don't know what air would be. Air would be, I don't know what colours air would be. What colour would you do air? Like light colours, I suppose. But then you'd have blues and I don't know. But it's beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. This was the um, Charlie Betty. Is it? Charlie Betty Earth Palette. And I will see you in the next Pink Poodle too. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a pause up. If you didn't enjoy this poodle, Sorry, Mum. I can't think. I can't talk. If you didn't enjoy this video, if you want to give me a thumbs down, that's fine. If you could tell me why, I would appreciate that. But um, in the words of Rich Lux, I can get a lad to save my life. But it'd be um, 
it'd be really kind if you could give us a pause up because it would really help my channel to grow because I have lost quite a few subscribers and I don't know why, whether it's because of the way it is now on YouTube or it's because I, I do a lot of alternative stuff now, I don't know. But all the same, it would be nice to grow my channel a little bit and get people to see my channel. Because, like, you know, I'm a, what, 53-year-old woman now and, like, I don't find there's many people my age, and I don't think there's many people my age who, like, pink hair and only oh, yeah, like, two poodles and... Anyway, it's, you know, I do this because I enjoy it, but it'd be nice if I could get noticed a little bit more, but, you know, let's say, this is the palette and I will be using this next weekend because i'm at my auntie's for three days so i won't be able to use it then but um on film so thanks so much for watching take care everybody keep safe and well and until next time remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't until next time on pink poodle 2 take care bye <laughs>